Chad McMahon has been able to build a successful bar business in the Omaha Metro. He owns three bars called The Good Life, along with a lounge. But The Good Life Bar on 180th and Pacific has been in the spotlight due to an incident on Christmas. That incident involves six minors drinking alcohol and one getting into a serious crash. The city of Omaha says video evidence from that night has been deleted and they plan on charging McMahon with obstruction. They are also still considering pulling McMahon's liquor license for that location. As 3 News Now reporter John Kipper tells us, there are other allegations against the bar owner, and it's a story you'll only see on 3. Yeah, Courtney, the bar does not deny that six minors drink on Christmas night. And I spoke to 10 former employees that say underage drinking occurred on more than just that one night. We're not ID experts, is what he would say. Maddie Riggle worked at the Good Life Bar on 180th and Pacific for around six months. I asked her why she stopped working at the bar, and she said she worked her last shift and quit. However, one of her managers said she was fired. Riggle says she later tried to get her job back because money from the bar was far better than anything else she could find. I did ask for my job back because I was at a point where I literally, like, I had no money, I hadn't had a job. And I thought that was the only, that was the only place that I could make money like that at. Riggle told 3 News Now that she had concerns about underage drinking at The Good Life. But her concerns were disregarded by management. I would always say, what, what happens if they do go get in an accident or anything? And we were, we were always told that if they show us an ID, there's, we can't get in trouble for it. 3 News Now has spoken with nine former employees of McMahon's that worked at The Good Life Bar on 180th and Pacific. Some of the employees left on bad terms, some left on good terms. But all nine that I talked to said minors would use fake IDs to drink there. We were given access to this Snapchat video, which appears to show a woman who is also a former employee taking a shot at the Good Life Bar in Elkhorn, a different location than the bar in Focus. The timestamp on it shows June 5th, 2018, a month and a half before her 21st birthday. Similar accusations were made at Tuesday's city council meeting in which four bar supervisors told the council they said the bar is diligent about checking IDs. If I've ever had an ID that looked kind of suspicious and I wasn't sure, I've grabbed a manager, they've come to the table, re-ID'd everyone at the table. Serving minors is not something that would ever benefit any of us and nor anything as a mom of teenagers that I would ever want to run a business as any part of doing. Yeah, Omaha City Council members said Tuesday they plan on holding a formal hearing down the road on whether McMahon will lose his liquor license for the 180th and Pacific location, which could affect his licenses at the other metro area bars he owns. In the end, the Nebraska Liquor Control Commission has the final say. And McMahon has also been charged with first degree assault in Sarpy County, and Douglas County Attorney Don Klein tells me he may file charges related to McMahon's response to the police investigation on serving minors on Christmas night. Reporting in the newsroom, John Kipper, Free News Now. And to see the story John did last night on the bar and for tonight's story, visit our website, freenewsnow.com.